It's fallen on the landscape, not going to melt too fast today, but we should eventually see a high of 35. Yesterday, 54, that was very early in the morning, and then the temperature did fall all day long. And 54 is the normal high for this time of year. We're going to be below normal today and below normal all week for the most part. In the Northwoods for today, it's off towards Phillips and Gilman, uh, where you see more of that snow, maybe another couple of inches. Farther to the east, Long Lake and White Lake, temperatures in the uh, 30s, and you won't see a whole lot more for today as far as the snow goes. Same thing in the southern part of the area, Wapaka. Roads aren't too bad there, but out in Granton, it is bad on the roadways. I have only 33 with that wind. It's going to feel a lot like winter. Here's your future track showing that band of snow continuing into the early afternoon, but then kind of tapering off as we head more toward the evening hours. Although in the Northwoods, you still see a little bit of that into the evening hours. Tomorrow, we'll see that clear up and eventually more sun developing, so it'll feel a lot nicer out there for your Tuesday. But then the clouds are going to increase once again on Wednesday, and here comes another band of rain moving on in from the west and it might mix with a little bit of rain or a snow or sleet in the northern part of the area uh, through Wednesday morning and then it'll warm up a bit more uh, as the rain tapers off uh, in the afternoon and eventually maybe some rain on Thursday as well. So yeah, not the best weather this week. Tomorrow's the day where you want to get outside and enjoy some of that sunshine and then Wednesday and Thursday carry your umbrella with you because uh, we could have some rainy weather at times. And then Friday night into Saturday, it's going to get cold enough that we could see some scattered snow showers once again. Doesn't look like anything heavy at this point, uh, but again, a few flakes of snow to begin the weekend.